And when I started my school, it was not very easy. I had res just resigned from my job. And losing that small salary, my friend, mm. it was not easy. No. I went three months and I'm like, ay, ay. You know, there's no salary. <laughs> there's no money coming to me every month. <laughs> and I almost got in, absorbed into what people are saying. So why did you resign? You're so young. Uh, I think I was 20 something. You're so young. Where are you going? Uh -huh. You know, you can be divorced. You know, there are all those narratives. Yes. Fairy tales. I call yes. them fairy tales. Mm. Eh? Because it is you who creates your life. It's not your partner. It is not anybody else. And um, three, five uh, months down the line, I have this school where I have one child. And I'm wondering if the parent of the child just pulls out the one and only child, you know, I'll be having nobody. <laughs> one term. One child. Never mind, I have a principal who I was paying very expensively. In fact, <laughs> colored. Hey? Is it colored or non-colored? White. Col colored. I have, I have a cook. I have teachers. teachers. I have everything in place. Lakini mtoto ni moja. Including electricity bills and Thank water you. bills, security bills. Thank you. <laughs> Food. I almost closed. I almost closed. And it was a very frustrating moment. Oh my goodness. To an extent of even putting an advert in the papers, in one of the best dailies. Saying what? You want children <laughs> to come to your school, my friend, that you have a new school. Uh -huh. You think everybody wants it. My God. And the only thing they tell you is, we want jobs. <laughs> one thousand applicants of jobs. Huh? <coughs> not the students you are looking for. What will make you not want to go back to work? But I said, this vision is mine. It is me. It is me who thought about it. It's me who created it. Why should I abandon it? I have had, I have tried many businesses and they have failed. In the year 2014, there was, um, there was an uh, international conference mm -hmm. for Kenya's investors. And I, I was invited to speak as a guest. And I was wondering, what do you want me to people to say? <laughs> yeah? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Of you as an, an investor, an entrepreneur yeah. in this nation. <clears throat> of a school which I have not really gotten it to no. a level that I want. Yes. But I accepted. Uh -huh. And I went. And I met so many people. And this is where I come out and tell the women, please show up. Mm. You too, show up. It is not in vain. Don't sit in your house and think that the dollars will find you there. Mm. There's nobody who does that. Mm -mm. Nothing replaces hard work. Nothing. In this world, nothing. Mm. Don't be cheated. Right. Everything has a price to it. Yeah. <clears throat> Literally, everything yeah. has a price to it. Even that one thing you're being brought for, and you're being told, you know, I'm doing this as a favor. Uh. You have to pay it. Somehow. Somehow. Somehow you will have to pay. It will demand of <coughs> me to pay. So mm. I showed up, met so many people, including the national organizations in Kenya, where I placed my interest. And I said, oh, there are all these people in these organizations. But my investment could be as equal as theirs. So why am I out? And I joined. I joined the national organizations. There are four main organizations in this country mm -hmm. today. Mm -hmm. There's the Kenya private sector. Mm -hmm. There's Kenya Association of Manufacturers. There's Kenya Chamber of Commerce. And there's Women in Business. Yeah. I first joined the Kenya Chamber of Commerce. Right. Where I grew up to become the national director and the only elected. I was going there to get my expansion, mm. to get my network, and to grow my business. That is the essence of any association. That is the essence of any organization right. in the country, mm. any private sector. Yeah. I will join because I want to benefit, 
not because I want to serve or do anything. Mm -hmm. I want to benefit. I want to see what happens. I want the goodies that come with the bilaterals mm -hmm. <clears throat> that are done, bilaterals that are done between countries. Kenya and any other country. Right. I want to benefit from that. And when I joined, I realized, hey, this is where the big boys are, eh? Okay. But I can't see the women. Hmm. I'm, I'm virtually alone. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So what's happening here? And I got so curious. And my curiosity landed me both into problems and luck. My curiosity was why the women are shy and next, what puts you people there and not us? Hmm. So what takes you to the table? Hmm. Hmm. And that is my curiosity that landed me to be elected as the first woman yes. in the National Chamber of Commerce Ooh. since it was formed in hmm. 1965. 